YouTube, this is Zero Fright 667 and we are here with our week one battle of TGS. This week we're going up against Aster J. And uh, going into it here, we're just going straight into the battle here. So what we got going on is we have a Skarmory, Darkrai, Latios, Mamoswine, Iron Hand, Sickle Fable on my side. And on his side, he's brought the Iron Boulder, the Archalodon, the Great Tusk, the Weezing, Glaring Weezing, the Greninja, and the Raikou. So for his side, he's able to tear up both the Archaladon and the Raikou. So it is going to be a little bit tough. Um, based on like, I'm only able to tear up my Ladio. So based on like what that says, I'm thinking he might choose to just tear the Archaladon because otherwise my Ladio does kind of just go through his whole team. So I think that's may maybe what he will want to do here. But we'll find out. Uh, what do I want to lead? Uh, do I want to lead? I think Great Tusk is a good lead for him. As well as... Uh, like uh, Iron Boulder or Greninja. I think I kind of want to lead Clefable. Yeah, Greninja. Kind of what I expected as well. He can set spikes on me here. I think a part of me wants to click protect in case he has like gunk shot. But at the same time, getting off a of Moonblast is amazing. In case he sets spikes, this could be a spikes lead set. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Moonblast. No, I'll stealth rock. I'll get rocks up. Okay, so he is uh, the... He has a Protean set. Okay. So he's not the, uh, what I thought he could be like, um, the Battle Bond set. So that's great to know. We're going to get our rocks up here. Uh, he could go Great Tusk and he can spin them away. Because he, I think he does see that, uh, my Clefable is more, like, specially defensive with that damage. He goes Archaladon, so I do get my rocks up. Now, Archaladon, it's kind of scary. He can, Flash Cannon me, he can do a lot of stuff. I'm going to go into my Iron Hands. Okay, so he gets his own Rock stuff. All right. I don't want to Volt Switch, really, because... Like, he could go Great Tusk. He could go Iron Boulder. I mean, there's a lot of things he can definitely go here. Actually, he cannot go. I would not go Iron Boulder if I was him. Uh, he could stay in, because he is Terra Fairy and do a good chunk of damage to me. I think I want to Volt Switch. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I do have a Darkrai with Sludge Bomb in the back here. If this ends up Terra Fairying. He does switch. Okay, so he goes Great Tusk. That stinks on my part. Uh, he does go Great Tusk and I am forced to hard switch here. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to go Skarmory. He books up. I have Whirlwind, so I'm not too worried. I'll just scare him out. With Whirlwind. Not scare him out, but I'll Whirlwind him out. Does he have Taunt? If he has Taunt, this is really bad. <laughs> I do have Latios in the back as well. So that, like, this does not get out of hand too quickly. But... I do want to whirlwind him out if I can. He clicks Earthquake. I'm assuming that may have been a misclick. I am not for certain. But he does go into Weezing. He does get whirlwinded into Weezing. I don't like that because this could have Flamethrower. And he is revealed to be Levitate instead of Neutralizing Gas or Misty Surge. So I don't really have a way to break through this quickly. I could go into Latios. How much does Latios do? Uh, it's a, a Glaring Weezing here. Uh, Luster Purge destroys Glaring Weezing. Strange Team does a lot of damage back. Do I want to just say I'm him? You know what? 
I am him. I'm him. Let's go. Don't strange team. Oh, he goes into Great Tusk. I think... I mean, how much does a... It's a Great Tusk here. He's leftovers. Luster Purge kills. Uh, Draco Meteor also kills. I could just Terra in Draco. Do I have any reason that I want to keep my Psychic typing? Not really. I think I'm going to Terra and I'm going to... I'm going to Terra Draco. He doesn't really have a switch in currently. Because Galarian Weezing can switch in, but he's just going to get hit by Luster Purge next turn. So, literally anything, I'm just breaking right now with this Mon. What will he switch in, though? Because this is leftover, so it's not like any, like, uh, Cheeky Scarf set or Sash set or anything like that. Even if it was Sash, the rocks would have breaking it. So, if I can hit this Draco Meteor, something is going down. Nothing on his team would want to take a Terra Dragon Draco Meteor from Latios. Especially since I'm modest. <laughs> And I have just enough speed to outspeed Great Tusk. <laughs> okay, so he goes Weezing. I tear Dragon. Uh, Dracomir does nothing, but Luster Purge is. Oh, he goes Greninja. Alright, fine. How, Greninja did like 18% to Clefable, so I want to figure out if this Greninja is physical or special. So, Greninja lead, uh, say, U turn, do, do, do. He's not Torrent, he's Protean. Oh, he's de this is definitely a physical Greninja. Say he's jolly nature. Yeah, that's a physical Greninja for certain. Is that banded? He did 18%. Now that's not banded. Unless he has like zero investment. Hmm. I mean, I guess that could be. I don't know. I don't like it. I'm going to go Iron Hands because he is a physical set. He does just you turn out. Right back into Great Tusk. I think I still go into uh, Skarmory here. He does spin. And he will take Rocky Helmet Chip. Yep. Honestly, I think I'm just going to spike up. And then I'll whirlwind him out. I should live with close combat. I'm pretty sure I should at least. I'm going to roost. Yeah, he goes into Raikou. So I do get the roost off for free. I don't want to go Mammoth Swine because this does learn Scald. I'll go back into Iron Hands. Oh, Reflect. Okay, I see. So this is a... 
Um, this is a, uh, what's it called? A screen says. So it's definitely our Charlodon. That would probably be Terra. I'm guessing it's going to be our Charlodon. That's going to be Terra versus me. I'll go back play rough. If it goes into Great Tusk, I get damage off on Great Tusk. Actually, no, I want to... Honestly, I just want to Drain Punch. I want to get some health back. I could go Clefable. I actually like that play, going Clefable. Okay, so it's Bulk Up, Earthquake, Rapid Spin, Temper Flare. He doesn't hit Latios that hard. That's good to know. Do I want an Earthquake? R risking the Scald Burn? I don't want to go Clefable. I want to go Clefable. I don't want this thing to um, get chips down. Oh, he bolt switched. Uh, smart play on his part. I could go into Greninja because I am a. He goes into Archaladon. This is awkward. What does our Chaladon get for a setup outside of like body press shenanigans? Like if he, does he get like calm mind or anything like that? Oh no. Body press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh home claws, iron defense. He gets S D, which is <laughs> Really not cool. I'm gonna moon blast. Hard press. What is hard press? More power, the more HP the target has left. Okay. I see. Uh, we'll save you, and we'll go into Iron Hands. I'm just going to Drain Punch. Oh wait, I forgot Terra Fairy. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, he Dragon Tailed me. Oh, Dark Rise in. How much does Dark Rise do? This sludge bomb should do a lot. I'm gonna click it. I outspeed everything outside like Scarfers on his team. Okay, he's just dragon tails me out. Into Mammoth Swine. Uh oof. I don't like this because He's plus like four defense right now. Or plus three defense right now. So if, if I, he, I, like, Mammoth Swine's not doing anything to this. I'm gonna be honest. I think. So I guarantee kill with Darkrai. I think what I do is I go Clefable. What 
what is his last move? Would it be like body press? Hard press, okay. I doubt, he, he outspeeds me, so. I could go Skarm and Roost on him. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go Skarm. Oh, he read me, oh, good for him. Damn it. <laughs> That's terrible, it's really bad. Uh, yeah. I definitely should've just sat Clefable there. Skarm being at low health means yeah, I, did, I go Clef now. I stack Clef. I go into Darkrai. Sledge Bomb kills this. And he can't really go anything else because outside of maybe Iron Boulder. It depends what Iron Boulder set is. But if I was him, maybe I think he would save this. Having Thunderbolt and then clicking it right there really got me. Not having my Clef anymore means I kind of get wrecked by Greninja. It is a physical set, so for now Iron Hands can maybe handle it. Sludge Bomb will kill something here. Will it kill Greninja? No. Alright, so I don't want to risk this being Scarf. I think I go Iron Hands. As he goes Great Tusk. I'm just gonna play rough. Then we'll go Skarm. He has to click Temper Flare here. I'm just going to Brave Bird. Yeah, I'm going to let him kill Skarm. I'll go Latios. And I'm just going to click Ice Beam. Iron Boulder being alive is annoying. Greninja being at good health is, not good health, but like relative health is also pretty annoying because if this is Scarf, it's really bad. My Mammoth Swine came in earlier than I wanted it to. Dang it. <sighs> All right, well, the Greninja is in Mammoth Swine range now, so I'm not too concerned about it. I'm going to sack Iron Hands here. He does gunk. 
I go Mammoth Swine. Do I trailblaze? Our Chaladon being alive is so annoying. Yeah, I mean, say he's at... I think I trailblaze. Into Icicle Crash. Okay, it goes Great Tusk. I'm just going to trailblaze again. I mean, the thing is, he can go Archaladon, but the only way he has to really hit me hard is with... Dragon Tail because Icicle Crash is definitely going to put him in a like in the chunk where Hard Press isn't going to do much. So he'll need to Dragon Tail me out. Yeah, he goes our Chaladon, so I'm going to Icicle Crash. If this flinches, I win, I think. Wait. How much damage was I doing with... Well, it doesn't matter because I was only using special attacks versus him. I saw it to Icicle Crash. I need this to flinch. Because then once he gets to plus one... Flinch? Nope. Okay. Alright, well Dark Rite does claim the kill. I want to keep this alive. I kind of want to just go Mammo. Yeah, I'm going to go Mammo. Yeah, because he has the U-turn. I live. Let's go Mammo. He goes right through. I'm going to Earthquake. Okay. I reveal my Pasho Berry at 9%. Let's go. I go Latios, and I think the best move for me here is to recover. Now I'll click Luster Purge. Why does he keep going Greninja? Bro is trying to sack off his Greninja, and I'm not letting him, which is annoying me. <laughs> um, I have to Draco. The 
the way he's playing Yusuke Ninja is making me think it's not Scarf. And that the Iron Boulder is the thing that's Scarfed. The fact that my icicle crashed at 34 to uh, Archaladon. Yeah, so he doesn't have a lot of... Oh, wait, I'm okay with being Scarf. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm less okay with being Scarf now. <laughs> I mean, this is GG's. I mean, I guess, uh, no, it didn't matter. Yeah, this is GG's. Uh, if getting a crit would have been helpful, but uh, killing the Greninja also would have been very helpful. Yeah, I'm, he just, he, he, pre he, he switched very well, I think. I mean, I don't think my prep was terrible. Uh, he just switched very well, and I got, I, I didn't read the switches at all. I played very bad, poorly on that point, but, uh, other than that, honestly, I, for how I built this team, I'm a lot happier with how it did, because honestly, I was, like, terrified for, like, how, like, I felt like I built the team poorly. Just because I didn't really have any pivot, I don't really have a lot of like pivot ways to get into Latios or Darkrai. Outside of like Iron Hands, and Iron Hands just kept playing Great Tuscan, so like I didn't have a way to really pivot. So for how the team performed, I'm okay with it. Okay, so GG's to my opponent. It was a 3 0. Uh, GG's. And yeah, um, I think overall. I'm not too mad about the performance. I definitely could have played better versus the Archaladon. I think I shouldn't have let it get so much health back with Leftovers because like, the fact I had it low meant that Mamoswine won at one point, and I just never took advantage of that. So, Well, I mean, no, because Galarian Weezing still had good enough health that it lived Icicle Crash easily. But yeah. All right, well, uh, that's the battle. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.